Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a pretty cool install and review video coming for you. And today, what we're going to be doing is installing a set of wheel lights on my truck. Now, don't mind the factory stock rims on here. So what happened was a buddy of mine was looking for another set of bigger, wider tires for his truck. And since I was thinking about selling them mine at the time, I just went ahead and sold them to him. And then I ordered a new set of wheels and tires for my trucks. So they're gonna be here probably within the next week or two and we'll do a review video of those getting installed. But for today, I wanna to do these wheel lights. Now what's pretty cool about these wheel lights is that I've been looking for a set of wheel lights for a little while now. And uh, they typically go between say three to $400, somewhere in that ballpark, depending on who you get them off of. Uh, so I was just getting ready to buy a set then I noticed on Instagram, there was a couple people that I follow that were doing a giveaway on a set of wheel lights. So I entered and figured, what the heck, who knows? Well, I actually ended up winning them. So I won a set of wheel lights from Patriot Lighting, and I'll put their um, Instagram names here. Those are the people that were doing the giveaway, so definitely make sure you go check them out and follow them. But I ended up winning a set of these wheel lights, and uh, we're going to get them installed today. Now, I did open up the box, and uh, I'll show you that here in a few minutes. The quality of these wheel lights are really, really good. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with them, and installation doesn't seem to, to be that hard. So, let's do a jump in and take a closer look and get this going. So, as you can see here, they're coming from Patriot Lighting here. I did open the box already, guys, but let me just kind of pull out what they have. Okay. Okay, so I just pulled them out of the box here, and as you can see, this is what they look like up close. So they're a real nice LED strip with a casing over top mounted to a metal or aluminum, I guess, rim here. And then you have all your mounting brackets here, like all these. And then they actually come with rivets or some self-tapping screws, I guess, whatever you want to use. Um, I actually have a rivet gun, so I'm actually going to use the rivets here. And basically what you do is the, the dust shield that's behind your wheel, you're going to basically drill a small screw into that and then just rivet it or do a self-tapping screw and these just mount right to that. So what you're going to do is you're going to mount this under the hood, attach it to the positive and negative of your battery and then once you mount your wheel light you're going to take your plug and just plug it right in. So it's a very simple plug and play. I actually had them extend these wires for me so I didn't have to deal with any short wires being too tight. But overall, they look really nice. But again, that's what comes in the box. You get four wheel lights here. And what's also pretty cool is they actually emailed me way ahead of time and asked me what color braided cable I wanted. And because I typically go with black and gray on my truck, I wanted black and gray cable. So they actually did a really nice job of those. Gave me some extended ones. So that looks really, really nice. So, so far, the quality seems top notch. I'm really happy with them so far. Um, we got your module here, and then we got a bag of rivets and self-tapping screws. And then you have a little bit of instructions with information about the app you need to use to uh, control them. So, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this side jacked up so we can get this first wheel off so I can get access to that dust shield behind uh, to see where I'm gonna mount these wheel lights. Uh, today, we're gonna be using my new Blackjack three and a half ton truck jack here uh, I actually love this jack uh, my buddy who came and got my wheels he had the same jack and it did such a fantastic job and when he told me the price I, I just had to go get one for myself you could pick one of these up at Walmart for about hundred and fifty nine dollars very heavy-duty uh, pump jack here it's a low profile design three and a half ton it goes up over 21 inches in height I believe has a quick release handle here, padded. The second part of the handle can actually pop out and be used as a breaker bar if you want. And you can actually pump it and release the pressure all without taking this out. All you do is pull it down, make sure it's turned all the way to the right for tight for pumping, and then just turn it to the left to lower it. So it's pretty simple and easy. It's a very, very nice jack. And again, for $159, you can't beat it.
Okay, we got the wheel off. So it looks like, I think it goes to the back of this. Okay guys, we are back. We got the first one installed and the first one was a little bit of a pain uh, because I don't know if this is just for, you know, Dodge Ram 2500 diesel trucks or do any other truck owners have the same problem? But my whole drum assembly and brake caliber, it, it just seemed like the, it was very, very tight. There was not a lot of room to work with. So what I had to do was each ring, each ring comes with about five different mounting brackets. Now these mounting brackets, obviously, if you look at the diameter of this interior hole, was no way getting over top of that. So I ended up playing around and found out I had to take away three of them to even get this assembly over my uh, drum assembly here. So I ended up using two, and then the third one I cut down about here. So I only had about this much left, okay? So that I would have at least three mounting points. And that's what I ended up doing on the front. Now the rear, I don't foresee I'm gonna have the same issue because the rear seems to have, the, you know, my rear tire area seems to have a lot more room than this front. So with the front, here's what I did. Uh, I don't necessarily recommend using um, self-tapping screws. So I did use the rivets. So what I did was I used a full, let me see if I can get up here upside down. I used a full mounting bracket here, riveted into the dust shield. Uh, let's see if I can get here. Second one, same thing, dust shield. And if you look over here, hold on, right there. So you can see there, I cut that bracket short and I got a rivet in in the bottom. And as you can see here, I have good clearance between the rivets so that I have plenty of room to move. So that's the first one. So I got the first light in, it's nice and sturdy. And then I'm just gonna run the wire up along you know, my brake lines, zip tie them in. So first one is done. That was a headache, but I got to figure it out. Now that I know what to do, the front uh, passenger side should be a lot easier. And then again, the rear should just be a lot easier just because I'll have more room to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the other ones done and then we'll be back. Okay, we got the passenger side on passenger side was also a little bit difficult here because I had to clear the calibers. I still just used the two brackets and then I used one smaller bracket here that I cut in half like I did on the other side. Uh, with this side here, my front steering linkage here was in the way of where the bracket is. So I had to take the steering linkage bolt out, drop it down so I had access to drill the hole and put the rivet in. But I uh, got that installed so that's all good to go. So there it is. There is the wheel light for the passenger side. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this wheel on and then we're gonna start working on the back, which I'm hoping is gonna be a lot easier to deal with. Okay, we got the rear one on. This is the rear passenger side. Uh, don't mind the brake caliber, I gotta get that painted. But I got the back installed. It went on a lot easier than the front. Uh, there's a little bit more room to work with behind. Uh, so I was actually able to use one, two, and three full brackets. Where in the front, I only had to use two full brackets and then a half bracket, but I was able to use three full brackets here, which worked out really good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the wire, fishtailing it all the way up through here, and then along the front to connect up with the front. So that's what I'm doing now, but so far, so good. And let's get moving on to the next wheel. Okay, we got the back installed on both sides. Basically what we did was after we mounted the wheel ring on, I fished the wire all the way up underneath up to the front. Now the back wheels, even though these were extended lines, they still don't give me enough room to get all the way up into the engine bay, just because I like to fish the wire nicer underneath the truck here. Uh, they do give you enough wire. If I just pretty much ran the wire straight across, it would fit, but I like to fish the wire through nice places and hide it, which limits me where uh, I can actually mount that power box. So what I'm gonna end up doing is, and I'll mount the uh, power box instead of in the engine bay area, I'm gonna mount it up near the front, sort of where I mounted the power box for my power steps. It's like up in the front here. I'll wire it down, put a relay switch on it up inside the dash, and then I'll have the power box up under here. And then that way all four plug-in leads will plug right here. And then everything should work out pretty good. But everything so far is installed. 
I know these particular lights do work with an app on your phone that you can turn on and off, but I don't always trust those because sometimes if the app crashes or if your phone crashes and you can't physically turn that off, I like to put a kill switch in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wire that in. Okay, we got it all done. Everything seems to be wired up and looking good. Let's take a closer look at what we did. As you can see here, here's the wiring down here, mounted on. And I actually just got the cable running straight over here and then running up under the truck on both sides. So we got the wire here from this tire ring and then the wire over here from that tire ring, both tied in right under here with the control module. So there's a wire ring there on the rear wheel. And then one over there, wired in. The wiring was pretty simple and plug and play. So let's take a closer look what happened there. Okay. So as you can see here, I just took the wire from the wheel ring here and ran it up and fished it sort of along brake lines and such and up along the side over here kept it nice and tied tight against the sidewall here <clears throat> and tied it in with the rest of my wires under here I don't mind the little mess of wiring here this is just all tape taped together but I have my control module for my power steps up over this beam here but then I have the box zip tied up up here and I got all, all the excess wire rolled up and zip tied and it's zip tied up here, so it ain't going anywhere. I'm gonna tighten that a little bit more, but everything's tightened in nice and tight. So again, once you get the wheel rings installed on the wheels, all you gotta do is fish this wire here over to wherever you're gonna mount your control hub. Now I do have it spliced in to the same kill switch that runs up into the cab of the truck. So it does have a fuse here. So here's basically what it looks like. power steps that come out so I actually have the rock lights and the wheel lights tied to this kill switch here which I just have temporarily put under the seat for now but eventually I'm gonna mount it up into the dash here but for now that's where it is there so all I have to do now turn it on got the rock lights going wheel light going got that wheel light going there's the back wheel lights lit up red right there so that's it guys the installation for the wheel rings went pretty good pretty happy with everything so far and then what we'll do tonight is we'll come out here later tonight and show you what they look like when it gets a little bit more dark out. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, as you can see, the sun has gone down. It is pretty dark out. And we are gonna see what these wheel lights look like at night. Now I do have my kill switch turned on so that there is power going to them. So we should be able to control them from the app. Now the app that we're gonna be using is called Happy Lights right there. Okay. Well happy light <laughs> sorry but there's bugs attracted to the light here so we're going to open that up now technically it's turned off right now so there's the power button so let's go ahead and turn that on and see if we can get it to turn on there you go it's hard to kind of get this 
camera to focus here. There we go, you can kind of see it. Now keep in mind, I have my old factory rims on that are much smaller, so they are going to hide a lot of the light. But once I get my new rims back on, you'll see. See, now they're changing colors here. There we go. So again, the app's pretty cool. Now watch, if I want to change them to red, I just click red. Hold on, I gotta see it. There we go. Now we got them turning red. If we want to turn green, we tap green. Turn blue, turn nice and blue. So everything seems to be working real well. Let's see if I can get you a better view of the rings here. So let's go green. We'll go teal. Red, I'm sorry, green, red. So everything works real well. So, so far it's pretty cool. Now I just gotta go in here and play a little bit with this app and learn a lot of the settings because there's a lot of timers, styles. You know, you could use like where they chase each other, the lights chase. So that's like mode two or mod two. You can go to mod three. There's chasing blue. Mod four is kind of like different colors. Different rainbow colors here. Let me see if I can get a better view here. So there's all kinds of different settings. Like I'm, I'm talking a lot of different settings here. So there is a lot you can do here. Let me see if I can get a better view from the front maybe. Eh, can't really tell that well. Sorry, the camera doesn't really pick up the nighttime. But the uh, wheel lights turned out really well. And again, I think it's really cool. You could turn up the speed so that they chase each other. You could turn down the speed so that they chase kind of like a slow gradient look. I mean, there are a lot of, you could even use music and get them to dance to the music. Um, but again, a lot of cool stuff you could do. Right now, they're just kind of like more in a white. Now, what happens is you could take this, let me shut this app out, open up my rock light app. Let's turn my rock lights on and I got them on. Now again, it's gonna look a lot better once I get my new rims on. But again, you could do the same thing with this app too. Now, a lot of these different lighting companies use different apps. So um, Patriot Lighting, who I got the wheel lights from, they use Happy Light. Uh, One Up Lighting, who I got the rock lights from, they use this LED BLE. Um, so there's a lot of different things you could do here. But you could do a lot of cool stuff, like you can turn them all. Let's say I wanna turn my wheel lights green. And then I wanna maybe take my rock lights maybe make them green your rock lights are pretty cool you do a lot of stuff with them so there's a lot of cool stuff you could do you just got to play around with the apps to get used to how they work and then i'm going to shut my rock lights off turn them off if i want to shut the wheel lights off oops sorry just hold that button in boom turned off so turn back on Boom, turn them on with the app. So it's real simple. Now here's what, I, what I'm talking about, the uh, kill switch. So right now I have my rock lights and my wheel lights lit up with a kill switch. Okay, so right now all my lights are, my rock lights and my wheel lights are turned on. Okay, so let's just say that maybe you're hanging out with your, your friends and you're dressed up nice and you want to go you know, into the, to the restaurant or wherever you're going to go. Right now, most of these rock light kits and wheel light kits, they come with a fuse. Now, depending on where you mount the control module, that's primarily going to be where the fuse is. Now, let's say that your control module is in, is basically under the hood. That's where your fuse is. Well, I mean, do you really want to climb under the hood to pull a fuse to turn them off? Probably not. I have mine mounted underneath the truck. So if I have some nice clothes on, 
and let's say the app crashes or my phone dies or my phone battery dies and I can't turn them off with the app, I don't feel like crawling underneath the truck to pull out the fuse. So now what you do with a kill switch, got my wheel lights. Okay, so here's my kill switch right here. I'll get it under here. So you can see this kill switch right here. All I gotta do is here, look, here's my, my wheel lights and my rock lights. One, two, three, boom. Hit the kill switch. Now everything turns off super easy. So that's the purpose of installing a kill switch um, when you're doing any kind of wheel lights, rock lights, interior lighting, whatever the case may be, that's the purpose of a kill switch. And that's why I always like to wire a kill switch in because you can't always trust an app or you can't always trust your phone. Um, so that's it guys. I just wanted to give you a real quick review of what these wheel lights look like at night. Uh, so far, I'm very happy with them. I got them from Patriot Lighting. So again, if you need a pair of uh, wheel lights and you want a good set at a really good price, go check them out and uh, we'll go from there. But Okay guys, so we got the wheel lights all hooked up. Everything looks really, really good. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Overall, the installation was pretty easy. Had a couple little things I had to work out when it came to mounting them on the, the wheel hubs there, but overall, not too bad. Um, and then the wiring was pretty easy. I just had to get everything fished through, wired in, tied up, and everything went pretty good. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with these lights. Again, if you haven't checked them out yet, go check out Patriot Lighting on Instagram. I'll post their uh, Instagram name here again. But check them out because they got some really good products and their prices are really good. And customer service is fantastic. I've been talking to the guy, you know, having phone conversations, texting them. Everything's been going pretty well. So I'm very happy with them. So I actually look forward to buying more lights from them in the near future here. So again, if you ever check them out, it's Patriot Lighting. Give them a shout and uh, we'll go from there. And as always, guys, I just want to say thank you for all of your support. Uh, I do appreciate it. If you could just do me a favor, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, because that's what this whole channel is all about i like to be able to do things to my truck and like to my house and different things like that and show you guys how how i do it now i'm not saying that i'm some professional uh so if you see them doing something wrong by all means leave me a comment let me know but that's the purpose of this channel is to try to show people how to do some of the things themselves and just show you what i've been doing to my truck maybe it might give you some ideas to do to your truck and vice versa because i watch a lot of your videos too and i learn from you so i'm hoping that maybe you'll learn a little bit something from me and then again if you like what you see just again subscribe to the channel so that we can keep this channel growing and uh keep putting out more videos for you so again thank you for all of your support and i look forward to seeing you in the next video